Alright, last up we have Dusknor. Alright, we're going to be taking a look at some interesting facts about Dusknor. So for Dusknor's information, his weight is 106.6 kilograms, his height is 2.2 meters, he is a ghost type, his abilities are pressure and frisk, which is its hidden ability, his catch rate is 45, which is also 11.9%, it evolves from Dust Clops when traded holding a Reaper Cloth, and it is the final form of Dust Skull. And for its Pokédex entry, the antenna on its head captures radio waves from the world of spirits that command it to take people there. Wow, it looks like Dusknor's uh, head, well, antenna acts as a radar to take people to the world of spirits. Now, when it comes to Dusknor being in the spin-off games, he's made three major appearances. So, in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time and Explorers of Darkness, and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, Dusknor is a major character in the main storyline where he travels to the present from the future to hunt down Grovile and the player to prevent them from changing the future. He also stars in the special episode in the Future of Darkness. Wow, it looks like... Dusk Noor has made a major role in the Mystery Dungeon series, and in Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, Dusk, Dusk Noor is used by Blake Hall in an attempt to thwart the player. While it looks like Dusk Noor is a pretty uh, big threat to the player, and in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, the same Dusk Noor from Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky appears as a recruitable character after completing his request via the Connection Orb. While it looks like Dusknor has some, made some scary appearances, but he has some great style, especially in the Mystery Dungeon series. Now when it comes to Dusknor being in the TV series, he's made three major appearances. So in Dusknor and Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky, Dusknor appeared in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Beyond Time and Darkness, where he was sent back to the past by Primal Dialga to prevent Team Pokepals from changing history, and Dusknor debuted in Gold Days, where it tried to protect humans from a ghost girl who was trying to send them to the spirit world. However, Dusknor was often blamed for the trouble that the girl caused. And, uh, Conway's Dusknor appeared in Working on a Right Move, where it was used in a battle against Ash during the Lily of the Valley Conference. Using Trick Room, Dusknor was able to defeat Noctowl and Donphan before being defeated by Gibble, who used a combination of Draco Meteor and Dragon Poles. So, it looks like Dusknor is very great to use in battle, and very scary. Alright, so here is Dusknor's shiny form. So for his shiny form, his body turns a dark blue color, which is a pretty scary color. And uh, it looks like a pretty cool shiny, but uh, I would also prefer Dusknor's shiny better because of the Red Skull reference. But it still is a pretty decent shiny for Dusknor. And here is the QR code if you ever want to register him into Pokemon Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Although Dusknor doesn't have any other interesting facts, he is still a great Pokemon after all. Way to go, Dusknor! And there you guys have it. Those are some interesting facts for the whole Dusknor evolution line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell for notifications, check out my gaming videos, and also don't forget to check out Pokemon Plush Toy videos, Super Mario Plush Adventures, Kirby Plush Adventures, and Sonic Plush Adventures, and request me some more videos that you would like to see in the future. So, until next time, keep on smashing! Dusknor, I'm about to take you to the uh, other world. 
Huh ha ha ha.